So we are talking about reflections in a coordinate grid, using a grid, and figuring out the points based on coordinates, and dealing with equations like a line, a mirror, where x equals 0, or y equals 0, or y equals 1, y equals 2, y equals x, y equals, uh, do you know what that equation is there? Well, again, you got to remember some algebra, remember some of these equations. Because some of them are important because they lead us to rules. Some of them are just random and don't help us. So let us look at something, see if we can find a pattern. So we have a polygon here. We're going to draw a line, y equals 0. Where is y always 0? Well, y is always 0 on the x-axis. I colored that line yellow so you could see it. Here are the coordinates for all of our points. We're going to look at them and compare them to their twins. So I make GeoGebra do the reflection. And there's our reflection. Again, we've got equidistant. C is 1 up, so C prime's 1 down. B is 4 up, B prime's 4 down. So look at the coordinates. Negative 1, 3, negative 1, negative 3, 2, 4, 2, negative 4, 2, 1, 2, negative 1. Only one thing's changing. When I flipped it down, the y coordinate went to become the opposite. It went from a positive to a negative. When I flipped across the x axis. Okay. What if um, it's actually already negative? Let's look at C. It was negative and it became positive. So if we flip across the x-axis, if we flip across y equals 0, y changes to the opposite sign. Let's double check that. Here's another one. Now we're at the bottom. Now we're underneath. Um, y equals 0, I drew it as a another line there. There's our reflection. Again, it was negative 2, it's now 2. It was negative 1, it's now 1 was negative 3 is not, oh, okay, so if I flip across y equals 0, the y's all change sign. Pretty simple pattern there. How about x equals 0? Well, x equals 0 is a vertical line on the y-axis. x is always 0 whenever we're on the y-axis. We're not right, we're not left, we're always at 0. So let's reflect this thing. There we go. All right, so y is, a is one away, a prime is one away, b is three away, b prime is three away. Look at these again now. a is at one, three, a prime is at negative one, three. Three, five, negative three, five, five, four, negative five, four. So if we flip across x equals zero, our x is changing sign. Let's try another one. There we go. x equals 0 is this green line now. Let's reflect it. And 1, 1 became negative 1, 1. 2, 3 became negative 2, 3, 4, 2. Okay, so it is true. If I reflect across the x equals 0 line, my x changes sign. So let's double check that it just changes sign. So if we start with a Go B. B is now a negative 2, 4. B prime is a positive 2, 4. Okay. Flip across the x equals 0. Our x changes. Flip across the y equals 0. Our y changes sign. Now let's go slanted. We're going to go y equals x, a slope of 1. So now we can see it better when I change color. And there we go. Nice reflection, we're equidistant. C is 2 over to the mirror, C prime is 2 down from the mirror. I look, at, if I go C to the right and then C prime down, that's my perpendicular aspect. And it's also equidistant. Let's look at the coordinates. A is at negative 2, 4. A prime is at 4, negative 2. B is at 1, 5. B prime is at 5, 1. A is 1, 3. What's happening here? What's the pattern? Look at another one. So 
So there's our line. It's now green. This is y equals 1 again. I'm sorry, y equals x again, a slope of 1. Slope of 1. So let's reflect it. Look, our coordinates, 2, 3, 3, 2. 6, 2, 2, 6. 5, negative 1, negative 1, 5. So if our slope is 1, y equals x, our x and y just flipped. They, they switch with each other. That's a pretty simple pattern. How about y equals negative x, a slope of negative 1? Well, there's our slope of negative 1. It's going downhill. 1, 1. So for one, all right, and we'll reflect this. Now let's look at the coordinates. Negative two five became negative five two. Two five became negative five, negative two. So the x and the y's are switching places. Two five negative five, one three negative three one three one three. Oh, but they're also changing signs. So x becomes y, but it gets negative, it gets inversed. Y becomes X, but it becomes inverse, it becomes negative. Okay, so 2, 5 is going to become negative 5, negative 2. So we have this negative slope, and that's what we're accounting for. That's what that negative is doing for us. One more time, just to make sure we can kind of see. So there's our negative slope. Well, let's go back one, just see if you can guess. All right, negative 3, 2 is going to become, let's see what's it do. The X and the Y flip. Place, switch places, and then they both become negative of each other. So this negative 3, 2 should get us a point at negative 2, positive 3. Negative 2, positive 3. Oh, look at that. So there's a pattern here. As long as you can get something with a pattern, you can program a computer to do stuff. Let's look at slopes not equal to 1. Y equals 2x is the one we're going to go at first. Get a slope of 2. That green line. And we reflect, and negative 2, 3 becomes 3.6, 0 0.2, 1, 4 becomes 2.632. I'm not seeing much of a pattern. Let's try um, can I move dots to see if it becomes anything. Let's put it right in the middle there. Look at A's. Uh, 1.48, 2. Point. Yeah, there's no pattern there. Well, that's an e even slope. Let's try an odd slope. So there was no pattern there. Let's try it here. This nice blue. This is 3x now. Slope of 3. All right. 4, 1. What is this? 4, 1 becomes negative 2.6. Wow, it even went negative now. 3, point, point, 4, and well, I'm not seeing a pattern. All right. So the slopes of 1 get us a nice little pattern. Slopes of 0 and infinity also get us a nice pattern. Those are good. So y equals 0, the y is changed to negative. x equals 0, x is do the, are the inverse. y equals 1, x and y flip. y equals negative x, x and y flip, but they also become negatives, inverses. I don't know, the opposites, the opposites. It's not just make it a negative. Let's make it the opposite sign from what it is. Let's go back and peek, peek at that for a second. See, this negative 3 became a positive 3. So it's not just become negative, it's become the opposite sign. So 2 became a negative 2, and negative 3 became a positive 3. Rewind that if you need it. So there's some patterns there.